But let me call Shepard. Uh, Shepard, your hand is up. Shepard, please come in. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Ipo. Um, I'm just going to raise a few issues um, and I'll pose a question. First of all, the issue of dialogue, yes, it's been happening. It's, it's, it's a very good move. Uh, but is it an intervention that the Zimbabwean government really cares about? Uh, I think it's very important for people to appreciate the nature of the beast that they're dealing with. Uh, do they care? A pressure such as diplomatic pressure uh, actually matters to a government that cares about its reputational standing. The Zimbabwean government, with all its shenanigans, doesn't seem to care. So what sort of pressure, what are the alternatives? What sort of pressure will the government of Zimbabwe actually perceive as pressure? Because with the current dialogues that are going on, they've had these dialogues. They know how to dance around them. Uh, they know how to, 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 to parry the blows that come with those dialogues. So what are the other regional alternatives that can be put on the Zimbabwean government. Thank you. Tendai, I want to deal with Shepard's question. Tendai, BT. And then I'll call on to Tony Rila after that. Tendai, what are, yes, what, are, what, what are the alternatives, if any? Unmute yourself, unmute yourself, Tendai. Yeah, you can hear me now? Yes. Yeah, so you makes, uh, Shepard makes very valid point that you're dealing with, with the rogue, uh, Kandangara's uh, characters, they, they, don't, they don't care at all. I mean, I mean, every single day, and this is not a metaphor, every single day there's a, there's a predatory headline. Uh, today, it was doctors being uh, conscripted. Uh, 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 yesterday, they abduct, abducted Joanna Mamombe and put her in a mental institution. I mean, the, every single day. Uh, on Monday, we had a report from the NGOs, fantastic report that confirms what we've always been saying, that there's been systematic use uh, of rap as a, as a political weapon, the weaponization uh, of, of, of rap, uh, you know, something unprecedented, even apartheid in its worst form uh, did not do that. So you are dealing with, with the rogues, you are dealing with uh, with 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 the pure uh, uh, undiluted uh, uh, thugs. So the point that uh, Moleetsi makes, the point that Eleanor makes, is fundamental. Uh, number one, we need the agency of Zimbabweans uh, to put pressure on the regime. The constitution allows us to do that. The constitution allows us to engage in civil disobedience. Uh, let's boycott their businesses. Let's go on the streets. The kind of thing that in South Africa, the UDF uh, uh, did in the fight against the, uh, against the uh, you know, apartheid. Uh, the kind of thing we tried to do on the 31st of July, uh, 2020. So Zimbabweans must provide the agency. Uh, we must confront uh, the beast uh, in the parameters allowed uh, by our constitution. Uh, but we need a global advocacy. We need to build a, a universal movement uh, against this regime uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, we did it with apartheid. Uh, you know, you know, you know, a global uh, uh, advocacy program uh, was built around uh, apartheid, and, and uh, the Zimbabwean Lives hashtag movement after the thirty first of July showed that it can be, you know, you know, done. You had uh, uh, people that, uh, under ordinary circumstances, would not not know where Zimbabwe was on the on the map, uh, coming to the to the fore talking about Zimbabwe, tweeting about uh, uh, Zimbabwe. But as Eleanor says, it has to be coherent. There has to be a coherent uh, 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 demands. Uh, 30 years later, 40 years later, we need our own uh, Arari declaration, maybe call it uh, the Soweto declaration on demands for change and reform in Zimbabwe, demands for change, uh, uh, in protection of civil liberties in Zimbabwe, you know, a Soweto charter on protection on human and civil uh, rights in, in, in Zimbabwe. Uh, the truth of the matter is that we're dealing with a, a, a securocratic state, the most complicated, 
the most sophisticated dictatorship uh, on the African uh, you know, you know, continent. Uh, Robert Mugabe went, uh, but it doesn't change the, anything. Uh, Emerson Mnangago will go, it will not change anything. You are dealing with a sophisticated regime oiled by the massive resources of uh, Zimbabwe, operating in eight or so, commanding heights of uh, corruption, uh, oiled by incestuous relationship with the Republic of China, Belarus, Russia, and so forth. They've been at it at a, at a long time and they will not go. They will not reform themselves uh, out of power. We have to be disruptive. We have to find new innovative ways of confronting them. Otherwise, there will be another 40 years uh, of suffering. Uh, we will come and we'll go and the crisis will remain the same. And that simply is not good enough. So we have to be disruptive and we have to, we have to find convergence. We have to provide the agency, but the international community can and should help us as well. Thanks, Dendai. Uh, 